My grandpa always had a Swiss Army knife on his keychain, and he was a World War II vet. It brings good memories for me that, like, my grandpa had one of those knives, and that my dad had one of those knives, so it's always been in the family. We used to receive care packages in Afghanistan. In one of the care packages, there was a Victorinox Swiss Army knife. Uh, we used it for almost everything. My name is Angie Peacock, former sergeant, U.S. Army. I'm Manuel Antonio Colon, Sergeant First Class, United States Army. I served 20 years and eight days. <laughs> I was in the Army for six years, eight months. I've never won anything, and, and being here, see it from start to end, it was an eye-opening experience. It's like crazy, like you're like, I made that. I never thought that like this watercolor painting that I did at my dining room table would actually materialize into something. In Afghanistan, we used to paint our faces, try to draw an animal, and, and I used to try to attempt to do an eagle all the time, and with that, that was my inspiration. It came out, I guess, pretty well since I'm here. When I was in Iraq, my base had all the helicopters landing all the time, and I would stand outside and watch the sun. I would like hold on to that for hope. Like at the end of the day, I would see the sunset, and I'd be like, okay, another day is down where I'm safe. It means a lot to us warriors like me that Victoria Knox supports Wounded Warrior Project that make us feel like the community knows about us. Wounded Warrior Project gives you another chance of surviving. Uh, it's hard to transition from 20 years in service to come out to the civilian. It takes courage when you're in a war zone, but it also takes courage when you come home to heal. I think the Victoria Knox logo is so iconic that to see it next to the Wounded Warrior Project logo really stands for something. It's that brand that stays forever and that everyone recognizes. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for sharing this with us and for bringing awareness to Wounded Warrior Project programs.